Don't sleep on anything regarding the MCAT because it is hard. Future docs in the building. It's your girl Kristen, aka Crystal Meds, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, how you doing? It's good to have you. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell button so you do not miss your dose of medicine, mindfulness, and melanin. Okay. Now let's get into this video. So y'all, I dreaded making this video. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm like, the people need to hear it, so let's just do it. We talking about the MCAT, okay? And the MCAT. I have PTSD from the MCAT. I'm just gonna tell you my experience, my experiences, because I took the MCAT twice. Yes, I took the MCAT twice. Oh no, no. It's real. It was the worst test I've taken in my entire life, but it's okay. I took the MCAT in September of 2018 and in May of 2019, so that was that gap between the two, I made sure I took a few months off before studying again for the second time because, like I said, that PTSD, I was not trying to, to do it twice. But, you know, God had other plans for me. So, I use Kaplan. This is their seven book series. So, the books in this set are the Biochemistry, Biology, Behavioral Sciences, Critical Analysis and Reasoning Skills, Organic Chemistry, General Chemistry, and Physics and Math Review. Um, how did I start? Now, let's see. First, I made a timeline. I graduated college in May of 2018. I knew I was going to take a gap year because, I mean, hello, I didn't take the MCAT until that September. But I didn't realize that I probably should have taken the MCAT in like June if I was trying to apply for that cycle to start in 2019. But that's beyond me. I wasn't too familiar with the whole process and that's why I'm here giving you guys all the tea, okay? I started, I studied for about three months. I did a lot of content review and that was my first mistake. I should have done more practice, but it's okay. These books really helped me a lot. I didn't use Princeton. I did my research before, like I used YouTube, but it just seemed like Kaplan would be better for me. I can't get these books out, so. All right, boom. So this one is Physics and Math. And, no, whoa, the lighting. Focus. You see, I don't really like Physics and Math. It's not a lot of stuff I did in here, but you, you see some things, you know. Um, it was definitely helpful. It's not a huge majority of the test. So if you have a pretty solid physics and math um, background, then you should be okay. You shouldn't have to crack this baby open as much. Um, but let me tell you, these high yield, huh, biochemistry, high yield, biology, high yield, general chemistry, High yield. This don't. Uh, I have tabs in here. Y'all see that? I made tabs. So, yeah, these three books were probably the most. Actually, behavioral sciences too, and it's it's pretty thick. If you can't tell. I did not know where to start. <laughs> I was lost. I was confused. I was panicking because I didn't want to take so much time to plan, and then not have time to study effectively. And they say that you should study at least 300 hours. I think that's the um, double AMC's like average or at least recommended time. Um, now, I thought I was an average student or maybe above average, but let me tell you, I needed more than 300 hours. So if you're someone who, even if you have a strong background in the content, still go over it and you practice 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 if i can't stress it enough y'all practicing i wish i did more of it both times knew i was taking it in september because that was like the last one of the last test dates for that year the double amc does not offer the mcat every month of the year so be mindful of that i think it's january and then it like skips february and then march through like september i read like the whole entire book for I think all four of these so that can already tell you how much time that took 
Um, and content review, don't, I'm not gonna say sleep on it. Don't sleep on it. Don't sleep on anything regarding the MCAT because it is hard. It is hard. It is seven hours of silence, concentration, focus, critical thinking, and it's tough. So in order to prepare for it, you gotta do a lot of practice, like practice tests every week, every other week, twice a week when we get really close to the test date because you have to build up like that endurance. My main focus was Kaplan material. I also use a little bit of Khan Academy because I'm a visual person. Also, I believe when you buy this um, Kaplan seven book series, you do get some type of online component, if I'm not mistaken, but if I am, sorry please buy the double amc materials and when i say you can do the bundle which is like 250 300 something like that if you have the funds use them if you have the means to purchase these things please do it if you don't fundraise and get it because i would suggest at least one um one like book set just so you have all that review handy and also all the double AMC, like I think they have three or four practice tests. They have like practice practice packs, their question packs, get those. And they have something else. Um, but I mean like the flashcards, I didn't get those, but that doesn't mean don't get them. Whatever works for you. Get all those double AMC like practice materials because like those questions that you're gonna get on the practice and all that, they're gonna mimic the test more than Kaplan, Princeton, Next Step. I would say I didn't do so well planning and I feel like that's kind of what set up the trajectory of my MCAT preparation, if that makes sense. Um, I feel like if you plan well and plan with intention and plan realistically, then you should be set. When I made my schedule, each day was a certain subject. So Monday, for example, would be probably either biology or biochemistry because those are my favorite subjects. They're a little easier for me compared to the other ones. So I wanted to start off that dreadful Monday with something that I actually liked and enjoyed. Tuesday, I would probably go into behavioral sciences. Um, Wednesday, I would do cars. Thursday, um, general chemistry and organic chemistry because organic chemistry isn't a major component, like it's not too high yield on the test. So I feel like you could mix general chemistry and organic chemistry in the same day. And then Friday, um, I would do like some physics and math. And then Saturday, I would take a practice test. Sunday, I would either chill or review the practice test. It depended on how I felt. I think Kaplan has some practice tests. When I took practice tests, I made sure that my environment would try to mimic um, my test day environment, you know, um, thankfully, I'm the only child, so it was pretty easy to be in the house while my parents were going to work, so that was great. Or if you have your own apartment, or if you're in your dorm, whatever. Starbucks, the library, something. But try to have that environment mimic the actual test environment. When I reviewed my test, I strategically reviewed my test. If I got the question right, I didn't look at it. If I got the question wrong, I read the entire thing, I read the passage again. Even if I got one question wrong within that passage, I read the whole passage again because it's like clearly I missed something. And so I wanted to see how the test makers want you to think. And once you get that down pack, you should be good. I'm glad that I learned from my mistakes a second time, but I don't want you guys to have to take it a second time, okay? If you get that score back and it's not what you wanted, you don't wanna to have to do it again. Oh my gosh, it's the worst feeling. And I mean, I didn't have to, but I believe that it was in my best interest to take it again. I had some people say, oh, don't take it again. I had some schools say, well, if you wanna be competitive for this school, you might wanna take it again, all that stuff. Now, mind you, they didn't see the rest of my application. You have to use your judgment. You have to use your pre-health advisor or a doctor, someone who can give you realistic advice. Um, so yeah, I didn't have to take it again the second time, but for me, I was just like, I don't want to miss an opportunity just because I decided to take the easier way out. You know, I didn't want to be lazy. Um, I knew I could do it again. I knew I could do better. 
so I did it and I did do better so that was great I didn't feel prepared at all for both times but the second time I did feel more at ease just because I knew what to expect I knew that this literally is it it's, it's above me now it is what it is what you get is what you get so if you increase your score by one point sis it is what it is I'm not taking it three times period I'm not I just wasn't doing that so guys that is it for this video if you stay for the entire thing <laughs> you will real one and you might as well hit that subscribe button you might as well like the video because clearly it was helpful it kept you engaged help me help you you feel me but I'll see you guys in the next video